Welcome to Strife, a retro kingdom building MMO. This first guide video will be to introduce you to the basics of the game. Your ultimate goal is to develop a strong kingdom and to support the other players in your province as you fight for dominance in this world. Kingdom strength is mostly measured through the lands you control and your military might. To develop a stronger kingdom, you will need land and castles to control that land. Each castle can support up to 50 land, so be sure to build them as often as possible and to look for enemy targets which you can attack to gain a castle. After having created an account, your kingdom is granted 120 hours of initial protection. This protection prevents other players from attacking your kingdom. Use this time to build up your economy, explore land, craft weapons, and train troops in preparation for the expiry time. Use this time wisely as the moment you come out of protection, the warfare begins. The first major area you will want to focus on is stabilizing your economy. There are four in-game resources that are essential to the growth of your kingdom. Gold, food, wood, and iron. The main source of gold is through taxing your population. Having more houses on your land will increase your population, which results in more gold. Markets can also help boost your gold by increasing the effectiveness of your taxation by up to 20%. This bonus to gold production is capped at 0.5 markets per land, or one market for every two land that you control. Food is obtained by building farms or by slaughtering animals in your pasture. Pasture slaughtering is a bit more tricky to manage, so it's recommended that you stick with farm production if you are new to the game. Wood is produced by building mills, and iron is produced by building mines. When resources are ready to collect, your castle will start to glow. Clicking your castle will make the collected resources immediately available for use. Resource collection caps after 24 hours of not clicking your castle, and the castle will also automatically collect these resources the next time you log in. Clicking the castle does a few other operations as well. Every time you click the castle, you have a chance to explore some land based on how much time it has been since your last collection. If you are super lucky, you might even find an abandoned castle. Collection at the castle will also notify you if any wild animals have entered your pasture if you've invested some gold there. Finally, castle collection also triggers your military upkeep, which is the amount of resources required to maintain your army. As a new kingdom, you won't have any significant army, but keep a close eye on your upkeep as you start to train units. It's very important to find a balance between your military and your economy. If you starve or neglect to pay your units, they will leave your kingdom, which can leave you in a very vulnerable situation. The other buildings around your castle operate in a similar fashion. When a queued building finishes construction, one of these buildings near the castle will start to glow. Click it to collect the buildings so they can be used by the kingdom. There is also a building for completing technologies, weapons, unit training, healing wounded, and training wizards. After getting your economy rolling, you may want to focus on crafting weapons and eventually training military units so that you come out of protection with enough military to defend your lands and conquer other kingdoms. A good rule of thumb is to spend the first three days focusing on your economy and growth, and the final two days building up your weapon stock and training units. The buttons at the bottom of the screen take you to pages where you can manage different parts of your kingdom. The Buildings button allows you to manage your kingdom's buildings. The Military button is where you'll train units. The Armory is where you'll craft the weapons needed to train military. The Pasture allows you to lure in wild animals to either train as mounts for your mounted unit or to slaughter for food. The Academy is where you will research technologies that will improve different aspects of your kingdom. The globe allows you to access world navigation where you can find other players to attack with your military or magic. The self magic button is a shortcut to the magic page for spells that are beneficial to cast on your kingdom. The triple dot button will open the more options menu with other important features of the game such as the ranking boards, a marketplace for buying and selling resources, an adventure zone to test your military might and earn essence and buffs, and the Essence Store where you can consume Essence to speed up queues in your kingdom and more. Essence can be earned through the optional video ads that will appear as a button above your castle, or through purchasing using the Strife Purchases button in the More Options menu. Because I'm very much against the pay-to-win model of so many games out there, purchases are limited to one purchase every 24 hours. As a new player, make sure to ask lots of questions in chat. 
there will certainly be people to help you learn the game. Best of luck starting your kingdom. See you in game. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos. I'll see you in the next video.